All right. The last act for HC with the theme, Freddy is back. And I don't mean Fred Flintstone or Freddy Krueger. This piece is a tribute to the greatest dancer of all time, the guy Michael Jackson, who the worships. Fred Astaire. In it, he gradually returns from the dead and finally in real life form, dances in true Fred Astaire style with Ginger Rogers. Fred Astaire is still alive and thriving in our memories here on stage. Can you please welcome Campbell Church of England, Dallas Grammar School and Campbell Boys Grammar Schools combined.
Camber boys and girls, Grandma, let's hear it for them. Great show, guys, great show. Slight favourite with the crowd, too, I think, just quietly. Now, a slight change of format here to allow the judges time to get backstage, compile all their results. We're going to go straight to our judges for their comments now. Kelly, what did you think of that? I don't know where to begin. It was just awesome. It's great to see young people dedicating something so wonderful to a man who has just brought dancing to the heights. I mean, he's just, he was my hero when I was young. I didn't know that you people knew who Fred Astaire was. Um, I can't say any more, but awesome. Jenny, your thoughts, please. I was so enthralled watching, I couldn't write too much down. Um, your... Okay, your movements from the word go were perfectly synchronised in front of a great set. The costumes were very effective, <coughs> moving into a more 40s style of dancing. I loved the move from a graveyard body to the top hat and blonde wig look. And then the fully suited chair dancers, and then everyone on stage plays perfectly, synchronised perfectly, all with the right facial expressions and perfect music. It was wonderful. And final say from Fix 106's Erin Jamison. Well, that was just very spectacular. I thought it was brilliant opening music. I thought it was a very clever contrast to have such alive and, and happening music when depicting a death scene in front of a cemetery. Um, again, it was just, it's just so much energy. But um, it was a great contrast of the Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers style, but doing it to rap music. And I think Fred and Ginger would have been really proud. And I just thought... <laughs> I loved it when the, uh, the Fred Astaire dancers popped out and just that, that electric light was just very, very good. Well done. Congratulations, guys. Now, how much work and effort, how much time went into this? When did you start putting it all together? Uh, it would have been about, yeah, about February we started practicing and we've been practicing non-stop since then. Every single day of the week? Um, practically. <laughs> and how are your studies going as a result? Ask my dad. <laughs> Uh, what studies, right? What studies? Now, where did the idea come from? Was it the idea of one of you guys to resort back to this black and white movie star from years gone by? But where did the idea come from? Um, who, who has more of an idea on where the idea originated? Uh, well, Jackie and I did the whole part of TV with helping. Don't she's cope with everything really well, Zova. Don't embarrass her now. Outrageous. Well done it was too. Can we hear it once again, please? Now, the judges will be making their final decisions, calculating all the numbers. I hope we've had all had a, a huge time here tonight. Is anyone coming back for the third, semi, uh, third heat tomorrow night? No? All struck out on tickets for that? What about for the grand final on June 10? Already got your tickets organised? Contact Canberra Bass if you haven't. Now the